pleasant greetings to everyone. I am Roslyn Fresta from Nepal. When I was a little girl, I frequently heard from adults that a woman is dependent on her father when she is young, her husband when she is married, and her son when she is elderly. But I believe that a woman should not rely on anyone. She should be the master of her own destiny and only financially independent women who can stand on her own two feet can accomplish this with the help of education. The crux of financial problems is the lack of opportunities for females. To all the girls hearing me out, I would like to say that hardly anyone in this world will tell you, here is an opportunity, go make something of yourself. You should be able to look for and grab those opportunities on your own. I study in a girls' school and I really believe in the power of women's solidarity. My school, St. Mary's Secondary School, Lalitpur, Nepal, caters to Mary Ward School, Chamsikil, and Mary Ward School, Lubu, Nepal. We assist with money and also some of the requirements, such as stationary items, etc., in order to help and support the underprivileged Nepali girls enrolled in these schools. I'd like to conclude by stating a quote of Venerable Mother Mary Ward, which I truly believe women in time to come will do much. Thank you. Greetings. I am Melissa Gurum from Grade 10, studying in St. Mary's Secondary School, located in Kathmandu, Nepal. Today, I am here to speak on global competitiveness, the challenges and opportunities of a modern Nepali girl. If girls in my society had gender equality, we would get the opportunity to compete at a global level. The struggle for gender equality has been a prevalent issue in our society for a very long time. And even though girls nowadays have more access to education, healthcare services, and job opportunities, gender disparities still remain in our society. Modern girls want to be globally competitive and represent our respective countries at global level, be it business, bureaucracy, politics, etc. Of course, not a lot of girls in our society are fortunate enough to get this opportunity, and especially in our society where there is deeply rooted gender inequality still observed, it's few and far between. This is where our challenges begin. With challenges come opportunities, especially with the emerging modern and progressive societies, the awareness level is increasing, resulting in vast increase in the literacy rate of girls. The school I study in is an all-girls school that has always supported, empowered, and elevated us girls and allowed us to work together, compete with oneself, and lead in society. Our school also hosts special scout classes and activities as well as many talk shows and programs giving us wonderful explanations and descriptions on global concepts that will help us to think at a global level. Now, more percentage of qualified individual girls from our society are entering the qualified workforce in different fields. Let's utilize this opportunity to contribute towards the overall development of our country and society at large. Thank you. Pleasant greetings to all. I am Rishavi Gautam from Nepal. And today, I'm here to talk about one of the major issues affecting girls in my community, and that is the rigidity in gender roles. Today, we all claim to live in a world where we are both aware and educated about societal problems. And if that is the case, then why do these problems still exist? And where do gender differences actually begin? This is the same case for the problems girls in my community face. Gender roles create a lifelong cycle of inequality. It confines girls to fulfilling roles as mothers and wives and positions them as caretakers, which results in gender inequality at how roles are distributed at the household level. Girls today want an environment of open mindset to thrive in, stating that it is also important to notice the shift in attitude among people. For example, Swastika and Shushmita Bajkai from Nepal are twins who are aspirational and humble about the cricket journey. While girls being involved in sports defies the traditional gender roles, people have let out an accepting outlook towards it in the recent years. But it is still not enough. And that is why talking about it is still important. Thank you. I am Abhisnehi Lamsal from St. Mary's Kathmandu, Nepal, and I am grateful to be provided this platform to express my views. We know girls are often neglected and are deprived of their own rights. Counseling problem is one of the obstacles which girls around the globe are facing. For anyone, it is not easy to open up in front of a stranger. Therefore, 
we do not expect gender based violence survivors to open up with anyone in a straightforward manner in nepal our patriarchal society and people have been normalizing gender based violence for ages where girls are undervalued there are women who say i have been tolerating it why can't you but of late there has been a lot of awareness program on this issue there are campaigns and trainings there are helpline numbers and the media is also raising this issue similarly my school saint mary's kathmandu nepal has been serving this sector by providing students with a counseling teacher who provides a comprehensive guidance to the students therefore we want women to be strong and independent thank you good morning everyone i'm sisha acharya and it's a pleasure to represent nepal in this global state of fighting for women it's impossible to prioritize a challenge as gender disparity exists in all areas starting from national security to job payments however adverse I believe that the key to tackling these issues we face is that women are at the table making decisions. From corporate boardrooms to courts and political leadership, the lack of women in senior position continues to leave issues from pay to humanitarian aid to discriminations in all forms. While there is no denial of poverty and in unemployment, patriarchy justifies the denial of opportunity. It feeds the message that men should wield the power and women should occupy a subordinate position in all areas of the society. St. Mary's Higher Secondary School in Nepal stands as a pillar for justice when it comes to women's education. Being in an all-girls institution, the school makes sure that their students are ready and confident to face challenges. We act as participants and not as female participants. What I want to highlight is that improvement might seem superficial but women should advance in all areas from department stores to sports fields to chairpersons in leading businesses this is what i want to highlight thank you hello i am abhishri pandey studying in st mary secondary school kathmandu nepal and i am here today to talk about a social problem that has been affecting the girls in my country both directly and indirectly Nepal, a Himalayan country in South Asia, is one of the poorest nations in the world. Here, women are generally discriminated against in every aspect of the society. We belong to a patriarchal society and let's be honest, a woman's life is strongly influenced by her husband, father and son. It saddens me how the majority of the women in Nepal are financially dependent on their husbands and fathers. Even if the economic contribution of a woman is substantial, it is largely unnoticed because their traditional role has always been valued more. Do we ever notice that even in this generation, when we go to family gatherings, we always see our moms and aunts cook, clean, and serve while the male members are having their space in the living room? Since my childhood, I've always noticed that, and when I saw the female members of my family settling in the kitchen, I always thought I belonged there. Even after all these years, after having so much of education about where I stand, when I see my mother going to the kitchen during family gatherings, I somehow always follow her there. In a way, I don't really blame the father figures of today's generation because, for instance, despite the efforts of my father to help my mother during family gatherings, the visible patriarchal weight on his shoulder somehow always pulls him back to the living room. And what's even strange is the normalization of this disparity by everyone. 